Hello and welcome to a narrated video tour for 5837 Gainsborough Place in Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is a condo corporation and this unit is a townhouse uh, condo unit. They are all blocks of townhome condo units. You can see the blocks as I back right up here. So this is Gainsborough Place. So if you have um, friends or family or whatnot that would like to come over for, uh, for visiting and whatnot and you need visitor parking, this is where they would park probably on this street or another close street and you can see the blocks of the condos as we go down that street. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, there's a walk, beautiful walking path in the front of these townhomes and then each block of townhomes opens up uh, to an interlocking big patio. And so that's what I wanted to show you. And then I'm going to show you the parquet, the parking spot, the storage locker, the whole bit. So this is where you would entrance or you would enter the underground parking. So there is a garage door opener, wireless garage door opener. You click it and in you go. And we will just walk, we'll get on the path here. And then we'll start walking on the path. It's really pretty. Okay, we'll just jump the curb. There we go. And this is also if you wanted to uh, get uh, into the parkade just from the path, you would just go into that door there. But I'll be taking you in a different door. All right, so now you can see that we're on the paved path. Now, this is the ocean. So this opens right up. You have a view of Bedford Basin uh, and Halifax Harbor, Harbor. Once it opens up, then it turns into Bedford Basin. So beautiful views of Bedford Basin. We also have views of the McKay Bridge as we start to turn the corner here. The trees are now all in bloom. Just beautiful, beautiful day. And you can start to see the balconies. It is a pet friendly condo. You can see the little dog there. So this is what it looks like when they open up between the townhouses. And then you have an interlocking big stone patio that you'll, we will, uh, I'll take you up when we hit our condo. So again, you can see the ocean there. Just a beautiful view. And so with this condo, uh, what's included in the condo fees? That's always good to know. So your exterior maintenance, so your groundskeeping, uh, snow removal, all that good stuff, uh, underground parking, and your water consumption. So that's what's included in the condo fees. And with regards to uh, living on the Halifax Peninsula, if you're lucky, lucky enough to do so. So Halifax is a very walkable city. We have good public tr public transit as well. To get to downtown Halifax, it would probably be about a half an hour walk from here. Uh, probably, oh, 10 minutes or less in a car. And uh, it's a very walkable city and all the amenities that you would ever want are right around you in this area. So you'd be very, very lucky and very happy if you were to end up living here. Okay, so this is us. So I'm just going to go up. All right, so we have a couple of stairs here. Now, this is where we're going to go in a minute, and that's where you get to your underground parking. And now you can see the interlocking big open space here. So you can see the entrance, entrances to these condos. That goes out to Gainsborough Place. I'll take you out there in a minute. That is the unit door. And so this block right here, this is the unit. So there's your two patios, or uh, two balconies facing the water. And then you also have a wooden patio or a deck on the back end as well. In this level, lower level, so you have your rec room, a bedroom, wash or washroom and laundry, your main floor, kitchen, uh, living and dining, and your top floor, two bedrooms and another bathroom. Okay, so I'll just take you up this set of stairs so again, if you wanted to come into your sort of block from Gainsborough Place, the street, it's a cul-de-sac, so very quiet, not a lot of traffic. And this is the cul-de-sac right here. And these are townhomes just across the street there. And that's where we started. So these are all the vehicles, you know, guest parking. And we started right down there at the beginning of the street. All right, so now we're going to go back. fetch my keys and now I'm going to take you into the parkade and then we'll come back up and we'll go right into the unit so I'll show you the parking spot as well as the storage locker and the reason why I show you this is so then you can get an appreciation for 
where things are and how many steps it takes you to get there. All right. So this is a security door. And just grab the right key. There we go. Okay, in we go. So, and the parking spot is like super convenient. It's number 164, and it's right there. Pretty much right in front of your, your uh, the door to come down here. So that would be your parking. I'll just do a 360, you can see it here. Well lit, clean. That's the door we just came out of a moment ago. And this is going to be your garbage compost recycling station for your block of townhomes. So you can see refuse there. Okay, so we are, with regards to the storage locker, it is storage locker number five and locker number one. Okay, so there's number five right there. So you can tell we're not that many steps away from the entrance door to get in here. And here we go. So these are what the storage lockers look like. And if we just close, then we are locker number one. So there's the entrance to the room itself. And there's your storage locker. So a good size storage locker. You can store right up to the ceiling. Good amount of space in there for sure. So there you go. So we'll close that up. Get our keys back. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll go back outside. We'll go right up and we'll see the condo itself. So this is the door once again that we walked through a moment ago. Oh, someone's coming down. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just scoot by you here. Thanks. All right, so now we're going to go up here. And we'll go right into the unit itself. So unit number 5837. Okay. So as I may have mentioned when we were outside, it's just been fully painted, cleaned. There's some new light fixtures as well and looking great. There's new thermostats. Just look at the unit is looking really, really good. Okay, so there's your foyer. So that's what you saw, or, or that's, <laughs> that's the door I just walked through. So we come onto a ceramic tile. We have Berber going up the staircase. This is going to be our coats and shoes closet. It opens up into your, we'll call this your rec room. So there is the patio facing the back of the property. So that's just a wooden deck. We also have storage under the stairs. I'm now standing on a laminate floor. So there's your sliding door. If I continue to turn, this is going to be laundry as well as a full bath. And if I continue on the 360, this is going to be our first of three bedrooms. So let's start opening up some doors for you. So there's your coat and shoe closet with your shelf and rail across the top. There's also a light in there, which is nice. Let's go into the first bedroom. So good sized bedroom, like I said, laminate flooring here. There's a nice casement window there, vinyl. And I'll just go right over to the corner. So there's your nice big closet. There's the entrance where we just came through. And all of the plugs and switches are new as well. They were just recently switched out. So there's your shelf and rail across the top and the laminate flooring goes right into the closet area. Now we'll go right over to the rec room. Just go over to the corner. So we've got some storage just underneath your stairs. That's where we just were a moment ago. And the electrical panel is just hidden behind the mirror there. And there is the full bathroom and your laundry. So we'll open up the little cubby hole here. It's a good amount of storage in there. So there we go, some good storage. I'll take you outside. So a wooden deck. So there's your view. Everything's nice and green now. Once again, I'll just go on the grass just so you can see the block itself. So this whole block is this unit, right up to the top there. So the exterior is brick and also wooden shingle. And this is a vinyl door. Okay. Now let's go into the bathroom. 
So leaving the ceramic go to a tile, ceramic tile. So there's your washer and dryer. You have storage up above. Let's go in, get around the door there. So there's your vanity, your mirror, your light. You can hear the exhaust fan going. There's your toilet. And you have a single beautifully tiled shower right up to the ceiling with the waterproof light. And there's your faucet or your, um, your shower head. And you also have a little cubby hole also tricked out with tile for soap and that type of thing. And it won't rot it out because it's tiled, which is great. All right, so that is your entry floor. Now let's go up the staircase to your main floor. So going up the Berber carpet staircase, and again, full paint job, trim, everything looks great. And we turn the corner. So now we're opening up on the main level. So we've got a nice window here facing the sort of courtyard area. Another sliding door. This is our first of the balconies uh, facing the water. So this is just over the courtyard. You can just see the interlocking stone there. There's the steps we were on a moment ago. And I'll just turn right around. So that's the staircase going up to your third floor. That's where we just came from. That's going into your formal dining. And let's pop this final slider open. So a good sized patio. There's your view. And that's going to be a seasonal view of the water. So it's a little bit obstructed right now because that big beautiful tree is there. And then of course, once it, uh, the uh, leaves fall, then you're going to have an unobstructed view um, of the water. So sort of a seasonal view and once again there's your interlocking patio or sort of your big courtyard area we'll turn right around and we'll go head back inside and i'm on a hardwood floor now so there's another one of the new light fixtures nice big vinyl window there so you have two stationary windows or fixed pane here and here and then you have your casement window in the middle this is facing the back of the property so facing the street on Gainsborough Place, and that is the wooden sort of patio or deck that we were just on a moment ago. So I'll turn right around so you can get an idea of the floor plan, floor plan from this perspective. All right, so now we're leaving the hardwood, going back onto the ceramic tile for the kitchen. Upgraded kitchen, looks great. So there's your fridge, your stove, microwave rain shed unit, and your built-in dishwasher. You also have a uh, upgrade uh, with regards to the backsplash, and it's a beautiful kitchen. So here we go, so your double, um, double stainless sink. You also have some under cabinetry lighting. You can see it there, lighting up. And there's your uppers. Lots of upgrades, glass inserts there. And I'll continue to turn around so you can see the uppers here, more glass there, and now your lowers. So there we go. There's also a carburetor under the sink. So a great amount of storage, cabinetry, workspace, just a beautiful kitchen. And one of the other upgrades is that we have some shelves on rollers here, which is a wonderful thing. All right, so there we go. So an upgraded kitchen, and that will do it for this floor. And now we're gonna be going up to the top floor. So going up some more Berber carpet. This is open right up to the ceiling. On the top floor, beautiful paint job. Another new light fixture here. All right, so now we're on the top floor. So this is going to be your master bedroom, upgraded bathroom. That would be your third bedroom. We'll call that your third. This is the staircase that we just came up a moment ago. And then right at the top, we have our linen closet. So let's open that up. And there's your shelving. So more storage, which is great. And the Berber carpet goes right through. And let's start, oh, let's, we'll call this a second bedroom since this is the second one we're in. This is facing uh, Gainsborough Place towards the back of the property. Another vinyl casement window. So there's your view of the cul-de-sac and some of the other townhomes. Just go right to the corner here. There's your closet in the hallway that we just came through. And again, all of the plugs and switches, thermostats have all been updated. So there's your closet, your shelf and rail across the top, looking good. Now we'll go into that beautiful bathroom. So going from the Berber carpet to the ceramic tile, 
So there's your vanity, your sink, your mirror, your light, your toilet. And look at that beautiful shower tub combo tiled right up to the ceiling. Beautiful soaker tub. And then you have your upgraded shower head system. So you have a wand here that can go in different uh, different heights. And then you also have a, a sort of a, oh, people call them different things, but there's your, your secondary shower head right there. Sunflower or whatnot, people call them, like I said, different stuff. And then you can hear that exhaust fan humming away, which is great. And you also have different spots here for soap and, uh, and uh, shampoo and whatnot. So one here and just one right there, just like the, uh, the lower level as well. It's a beautiful bathroom. Now we're going into the master bedroom. So we'll go right over to the corner. So uh, Berber carpet here, another big sliding glass door there. That's a walk-in closet. And that's where we just came from a moment ago. So we'll go out to our second balcony and we're up much higher now. So there you can see the water. So that's Bedford Basin. Just a beautiful view. And there's the patio, just like the one beneath us. So wouldn't that be great? This would be falling asleep to the ocean and those beautiful ocean breezes, just awesome. So again, there's the hallway we were on just a moment ago. Now we'll open up the walk-in closet by full door. So we've got the Berber carpet that carries through and we've got shelf and rails on the right and shelf and rails on the left. So there you go. So now you know everything about the property. You know everything about the floor plan, what's included in the condo fees, and it is a beautiful spot. So thank you very much for watching. I certainly appreciate your time. My name is Chris Ryan. I'm a realtor with Royal LePage Atlantic here in Halifax. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a showing, please reach out. My phone number is 902-830-4465. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.